Hi, welcome back to the channel. This is Bubba the Runner. I uh, I just got big into it, I'd say two years ago. Been going pretty consistent though for the past year. Getting better, seeing progress. It's uh, it's a slow, slow progress now, but uh, still fun. I still enjoy it. And this is one thing that I never in my life thought that I would uh, be big into. Shoes. I absolutely love different running shoes. Uh, I do just like anybody else would be doing that's watching this video because before I buy any shoes, I always go to YouTube, Amazon, read all the reviews. I want to know the ins and outs. Keep it basic though. Uh, so jump into it. I basically want to say if they're worth it or not worth it. If you're shopping on a budget, then I'd say all three of them are pretty good. Uh, I want to start with the ASICS Magic Speed just because they have the four foot uh, carbon plate in them. Uh, it's good for speed, which is what they're made for. Uh, as for a marathon, I probably wouldn't just because it's kind of a, it's a rough ride. It's not as smooth and cushioned as some of the other shoes, the run shoes. But if you're somebody that trains mostly on the treadmill, I would definitely say go with go with Magic Speed, especially for the cost and the weight. It's it's a lightweight shoe. It's a I think a eight point one ounces. Um, as for the oh yeah. The weight of this shoe is 8.1 ounce. Good run shoe, good for speed, good for, I would say 5K, 10K. Um, half marathon, maybe. I, I don't know if I would, but you definitely could. I know one of the complaints about the shoe is the tongue on it. It's very thin. And I guess for some people who have soft feet or whatever, it bothers them, but I haven't had an issue with it. I probably have, I'd say 100 miles in this shoe. Most of it probably done on the treadmill or the track. It's really good on the track. Um, it's just not as soft on the foot or cushion as other distant shoes or marathon shoes. All right, the Brooks, the Ghost 14. Absolutely love this shoe. Uh, matter of fact, the Brooks Ghost, whatever the one was that came out before this, that's the one that I used for all my runs. When I first got into running, I had maybe two pair of shoes that I rotated between, and one of them being Nike Air Max. <laughs> Definitely not your running shoe, but Brooks is a good all around run shoe. Short distance, long distance. Uh, I would say, I mean, I started out doing my 5Ks back in September when I started doing 5K races. This is what I wore. And it was pretty good. It, it definitely, uh, it could definitely be fast, but the weight on it is 9.8 ounces. Kind of heavy. Uh, but you're going to go with a very cushioned, smooth ride with these. Now, my true love, my favorite, uh, I feel like they don't get enough height. It's not a carbon plate, it's just the flight foam. Completely light shoe though, like the padding, the heel, the way they, uh, the way they made it, the way they designed it is just all around good, perfect. But I've done my, I did my first marathon in these shoes. I did my first half marathon race in these shoes and 5Ks. I've done a few 5Ks in these. I'm pretty sure this is the one that I wore when I hit my sub 20 minute, 20 minute uh, 5K. I hit a 1925 5K in these. And my marathon was 336. Half marathon was uh, 129, an hour and 29 minutes. But the weight on this shoe is 
7.6 ounces. I'm a size nine in all my shoes, size nine. And the weight is 7.6 ounces in this, super light. Feels like you don't have a shoe on when, you, when you're wearing them. You honestly have to look down, double check. And I'm a fan of the Asics Noosa Tribe mainly because the weight and the colorway. I mean, what is it they say? If you, if you look good, you feel good? Or is it the other way around? Correct me if I'm wrong. But that's the way I feel about these shoes. You show up to races and you start looking at people's shoes and you see this, it stands out. It definitely stands out. Makes people wonder, is he good? Is he not good? So yeah, if you're uh, all the cost on them, I was gonna go over the cost of all these shoes because you can get them all on Amazon and it's very budget friendly, I would say, especially, uh, especially the Asics uh, Magic Speed. You can get those for like $70 right now on Amazon. And Noosa Tribe 14, you can get those on Amazon for $130, I think $130, which isn't bad because they're going to last. I have, I have 150 miles in these and they're still good. They're, I, they're only halfway, if that. Uh, Brooks, Brooks Ghost 14, I think they're going for $110 on Amazon. And Definitely a good purchase. I mean, it's a good everyday trainer. Both these are good for everyday training if you wanted it to be. This one, stick with racing, like shorter races or treadmill work or on a track. But yeah, that's my video. And I plan to post more about more run shoes. Uh, I also would like to go over the Coros, uh Watch, I have a Coros Apex Pro. Eventually, I do wanna do a review on it. I've only had it for, I think, three weeks now, two or three weeks. And so far, I'm loving it, but I wanna give it some more time and then I wanna do a review on it. So, yeah, stay tuned.